The accounts payable turnover ratio measures how often accounts payable are paid on average within a year. The accounts payable turnover ratio can be computed by dividing total supplier purchases on credit by the average accounts payable balance. If the amount of total supplier purchases on credit is not available, cost of goods sold could become the numerator. Keep in mind, however, that the accounts payable turnover ratio is useful only insofar as it measures the quantity of total purchases from suppliers on credit as measured against accounts payable. Cost of goods sold may, one, not represent goods purchased on credit, and two, those goods may have been purchased a long time ago. For example, if the company uses the FIFO inventory valuation method. And therefore, the carrying amount of cost of goods sold potentially could not be reflective of their current inventory market prices. Dividing 365 by the accounts payable turnover ratio yields the days payables outstanding ratio. The days payables outstanding ratio measures how many days on average it takes for a company to pay its suppliers. This can be a useful predictor of future cash flows and allows the organization to ensure that it has adequate cash on hand to meet upcoming obligations. For example, Charlie's Camper Company has made purchases from its suppliers on credit totaling $1 million, and its average accounts payable balance is $250,000. Their accounts payable turnover ratio will be four, which means that on average, their accounts payable is paid in full four times per year. The day's payables outstanding would be 91.24, which means that it takes the company on average 91.24 days to pay suppliers for the goods purchased on credit.